FA Cup Final, Arsenal v Chelsea Kickoff, 5.30 p.m., Saturday. Venue, Wembley. On TV, live on Ayer Sport 1, BBC One and BT Sport 1. It was May 2015 and Arsenal's prospects looked shinier than any point in the previous half decade. They had qualified directly for the Champions League group stage, a feat that had evaded them for two seasons, and now they had a chance to retain the FA Cup against Aston Villa. There was a sense the punishing tides that battered Arsene Wenger's later years were turning in, speaking three days before the final, one of the senior players nudged those above him to make the final push. It's up to the manager and the board to decide what is the missing ingredient, he said. Were we missing that final bit of quality to win the league, or deepness in the squad? It's up to them to analyze that. The speaker was Mikel Arteta. Back then he was the club captain and had the authority to prod where others might hesitate. Five years on he has rather more direct influence upon Arsenal's maneuvers but may reflect, given his more recent pronouncements on the need to strengthen, that some things do not change. Their on-pitch fortunes have regressed and even the kind of £31.7 million pounds, .2 million Euros fee that secured Alexis Sanchez's services at the start of 2014-15 may be beyond them this summer, but once again Arsenal arrive at Wembley hoping talk of change, new brooms and fresh beginnings crystallizes into tangible progress. Seize chance this time they must seize their chance to build. The harsh reality is that they are, essentially, aiming for any bounce to bring them somewhere near the spot from which they had hoped to evolve in 2015. Cup finals have offered the only genuine shafts of joy for Arsenal since 2006 and all three of their wins in the 2010s, the comeback against Hull, the evisceration of Villa, the knife-edge affair in which they pipped Chelsea, have brought memories that stand alone. But none are stitched into a narrative of gathering momentum, Arsenal missed their opportunities to build on each one and it is among the reasons an overview of the past 10 years presents itself as a litany of false dawns. Sanchez arrived following the Hull final in 2014 and there was frustration that, had Arsenal not taken half a season to get going after what Per Mertesacker later described as a post-World Cup trauma, they might have approached the Villa showpiece with even more to show off about. But the more significant regret came in the way Arteta's squad-building suggestion went unheeded. Petr Cech's arrival six weeks later appeared to solve a long-term problem in goal but Arsenal needed more. Wenger opted for caution, sensing a singular togetherness in his squad. No major outfield signings were made in the summer of 2015 and, while second place to Leicester looked good on paper the following season, the reality was they were 10 points off the pace and missed a glaring opportunity to make the final step they had expected.